Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration, be 2006, number 25. We have the integral from zero to a half, one over square root x minus x squared dx. Okay, I thought it would actually be interesting today to look at an alternative method for this one. I've already done this one on my other channel, so I'll provide a link to that. But what I wanted to do for this one is just look at the graph. So just looking at this graph, let's notice that it's symmetrical around x equals one half. And we also have a vertical asymptote at x equals one. So what we can say about this is the area under this curve is gonna be the same from zero to one half as it is from one half to zero. So using that symmetry, what I wanna do is I just wanna change my integral. Instead of going from zero to one half, I wanna look at this as going all the way from zero to one, but I wanna change it so what we actually have is one half of that integral from zero to one. And then from there, what I wanna do is the same thing I did in the other video, and let's just factor this. I can factor this as x times one minus x. And of course, this is all in the square root, so I can actually break this up and write it as square root of x times square root one minus x. And then I'll just go ahead and rewrite this. We'll have this going from zero to one. But actually what I wanna do is take this, bring it into the numerator, and I'll write the first term as x to the minus one half, and we'll write the second term as one minus x minus one half. But then from here, just notice what we have for this integral is perfectly set up to use the beta function. Okay, we have our formula over here to the right, and just notice with this, what we can do is we can go right to our solution in terms of the gamma function. Now, one thing I need on here, we have the exponent here as like c1 minus one and c2 minus one. What I can do here is just kind of change it to get in the same forms. So for the exponent minus one half, I can write that as one half minus one and do the exact same thing for this one. We'll write this as one half minus one for our minus one half. And then doing it that way, for our z1 value, we're just gonna have one half, and for our z2 value, we're gonna have one half. So coming over here for our solution, let's just bring over this one half in front. This is gonna become, using this, this is gonna become gamma of one half times gamma of one half over gamma of the sum of one half plus one half, so this is just gonna be the gamma of one. And now let's just evaluate the gamma function over here in order to get this in terms of a numeric solution. So doing this, we'll just use a couple formulas over here. We'll bring down this one half. So for gamma one half, we have this formula that says that's just gonna be square root of pi. So we'll have square root of pi here, and same thing here. This is gonna be square root of pi. And this is gonna be all over one. For this, what we'll use is this formula that says gamma of n plus one is just n factorial. So for gamma one, I can write this as zero factorial. But zero factorial is just one. Square root of pi times square root of pi is just pi. So for my final solution to this, we just get pi over two. Okay, there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.